Fans of the Touchstone Pictures 2000 remake of the 1974 cult movie, Gone in 60 Seconds, will recognize this 1967 Ford Mustang as the original Eleanor. Several cars were built to handle various duties during the filming, but this is serial number 179710, the hero car driven by Nicolas Cage during filming and used in movie close-ups, posters, and promotional materials. In the process, launching a whole new trend in resto modding. Built by Cinema Vehicle Services, or CVS, the design of the car is a work of art, literally. Well-known hot rod designer Steve Stanford sketched out the original concept drawing for the car before the vehicle was brought to life by CBS. The builders were able to mock up Eleanor's body pieces on a Mustang using clay and wood. Molds were then made to produce a new fiberglass front end filled with high-powered PIAA driving lights, new fender flares, side skirts and scoops, and a hood and trunk lid. The front suspension was replaced with a lowered and reinforced coilover spring arrangement with power rack and pinion steering. Four-wheel disc brakes were installed and Goodyear Eagle F1 tires mounted on Schmidt 8 by 17 inch Cobra style wheels. To give the car big screen performance, it was treated to a 351 400 horsepower Ford crate engine, which shares room under the modified hood with a front subframe body brace by Total Control Products, LLC. This progenitor of the Eleanor Revolution is relatively untouched inside, with the exception of an Autometer Sport Comp Monster Tack a fire extinguisher, go baby go shift knob button, line lock and a switch for activating a nitrous injection system. It's being offered directly from the original builder Cinema Vehicle Services. This is the car that jump started the Eleanor Resto modding craze and introduced the world to a whole new dimension of modern art. Go baby go.